I'm Jill Rep from June Taylor. If you're a sewer or a crafter or a quilter, you may have a need for a great product in your toolbox that prevents fraying. Fray Black, which is available in a tube with a very fine precision point or in a bottle with a brush, is going to be the solution that you're going to need for all your fraying issues. As we said, Fray Black comes in a tube or it comes in a bottle with a brush. It's great for preventing fraying on the edge of ribbon or home deck trim such as this. Fine fabrics like organza or any of the fabrics that we use for costumes or dance and things. It also works really well when you're serging and you have those serged thread ends. You definitely need a drop of it right here before you trim those serged ends off. So to start the process, the first thing you're going to do, regardless of which product you're using, is let it soak in warm water for three minutes or run it under warm water for three minutes. After you've let that happen, shake them both up, depending on which one you're using. And then say we're going to use the tube, remove the cap, remove the nozzle, and then we're going to take a pin from our sewing room and just make a fine point right inside to kind of um, open up the cap a little bit. Put the nozzle back on. And if we're ready to use it, we simply protect our work surface. Here we're just using a piece of craft paper to protect our work surface and simply take the tube and run it on the edge of the ribbon or the trim, whatever you're doing. Let it dry. Always pre-test it first on a scrap so that you know what it's going to look like. Now for ribbon, it's good to use the brush version because it's so easy to apply. So we trim the ribbon as best we can, shake the bottle, open it up, and just run that brush right along the edge. So this really is a precise application. Let it dry, and again, always remember to pre-test. Same with organza. This really has a lot of fraying. Trim your ends first as best you can, and then take the brush and just run it right along the edge. For those of you who have sergers, your best bet on serge thread ends is to just take a dot of the product and put it right at that end point. Let it dry and then take your scissors and trim it. The fray block will dry soft, clear, and flexible. So even if you're using it on a garment, it's not going to be uncomfortable. So either version in the brush-on bottle or the tube both are great tools for you to use in your sewing, quilting, or craft room.